While I'm slowly heading back to my apartment I'm not asking for your thoughts I'm just thinking out loud in the darkness There's no point cause we both know. Hello my friends and welcome back. Welcome if you are new. If you are new and this is your first time seeing my face, please let me know in the comments so that I can welcome you. I love chatting with you guys in the comments section. I also enjoy chatting with you guys over on Instagram. I share a lot over there and I love when you guys share your home decor or holiday decor with me over there. So make sure to go over and give me a follow. Well, it's finally October and I cannot believe it. The time is just flying by. The weather is finally cooling down here in Middle Tennessee and the leaves have started to change. And this coming weekend, we will have our first nights in the 40 degree temps, which is sadly the beginning of my garden going to sleep for winter. But so much is happening inside the home for the holidays and it's enough to keep me busy. But now that it's October, it is time to bring in the real pumpkins. When I began to transition my home back in September, I mentioned that I would be introducing real pumpkins and some faux into my home decor. And I decided this year I was going to live and decorate in real time. I wasn't going to allow YouTube to force me to rush the holidays. So in September, I began to introduce the warm colors and texture into my home, knowing that I would eventually add all of the pumpkins and other fall touches. And now that it's cooling off, it feels right. I got this beautiful and whimsical idea from Robbie over at Visit My Garden here on YouTube. He did something similar to his front door on the porch and when I saw it I knew that I had to do something similar to my entryway. I soaked this grapevine for about an hour in my kitchen sink so that it was pliable enough to maneuver it around my mirror and then I was able to cut it where I needed it to land. I'll be using the rest of it coming up in just a minute, but you guys, this entryway is so magical at night. I want to keep it up all year long. That's how beautiful it is. Now I'm moving on to a flower arrangement. I picked up six bouquets of flowers at my local Publix. They have uh, what they call designer picks, three for $12. So I get three bouquets of flowers for $12. And when I walked in and saw that they had all of the faux, or I'm sorry, all of the fall <laughs> colors, I knew that um, they were gonna be perfect for my flower arrangements in my home. And so um, hopefully they will keep these in stock all season because they are just gorgeous. So now I was not really in the mood. When you do flower arranging, you have to be in the mood. You really do. You have to be in the moment and I just wasn't feeling it on this day and so I, I, I didn't have my, I couldn't find my tape to tape a frog, which is what I normally do in my vessels. I didn't have a frog um, and so I was using um, the stems of each floor, flower to, um, to hold up the next flower, if that makes any sense. And so it wasn't really falling into place. I had bought the green, um, I'm not sure what they're called, but the green florals because when I create arrangements I like to make them a little whimsical so my idea was to have it stick out have them stick out at one point and it just wasn't working out because like I said I didn't have a frog so you saw that I put it together I hated it <laughs> so I decided to go ahead and cut everything down to basically the same height and just create a nice uniform beautiful arrangements in this vessel and this vessel I got at home goods it's made in Italy very heavy uh, probably about a year ago well not a year ago um, no it's been about a, it's been a year it has actually I was in California so it's been longer than a year I got it last season last um, holiday season and it was quite uh, pricey it was about fifty dollars which you all know that's a a lot to spend at home, at, uh, home goods but um, on one item 
but when you find those kinds of things you just have to pick them up so made this arrangement love it and i knew that it was going to be the perfect addition and for the price of the florals at publix i can make my arrangements for all over my home um, without feeling guilty so i'm going to go ahead and put the lamp back i'm not loving this lamp i'm on the hunt i've been thrifting i'm looking for a brass lamp um, I will find one, I know I will, <laughs> for, it doesn't have to be brass, I just want something older, um, more vintage looking for this area, but I'm on the hunt, and we're just going to go ahead and put that back. My um, ivy, my English ivy, and my battery operated candle, and my vintage candle holder, and then my acorn that I had. And then I had already put these pumpkins, but I dusted a little bit, so I'm putting them back here. They're just two velvet little pumpkins just to add that little um, harvest touch here. Um, and in the head vase, I have some um, uh, florals, and there are some faux florals for fall in there, and it just all tied together, it just came together. But look how beautiful this is, you guys. Oh my gosh, I just... Oh, I love it so much. It just is so beautiful. And those lights in the entry twinkling, um, the, well, not twinkling, but, well, they do. They twinkle in the light, you know, in the evenings. It's that be beautiful glow, and the entryway is just magical at night. So if you are looking for something like this, I want to encourage you. I used faux, uh, not faux, real um, eucalyptus picks from Hobby Lobby. Um, I think it was $12 for the bunch and um, I just you know pulled those apart and stuck them in and um, and they came out wonderful so now I'm going to replace my I had a blue and white beautiful vase up here and I'm just going to replace that with one of my pottery barn vases that I have and a faux fall pick and now we're moving over to the fireplace. I'm going to use the rest of that grapevine leaf because I wanted a pumpkin topiary. Um, and I thought, why not put one in my home? So I picked up these heirloom pumpkins at my local Kroger's for $6.99 each and made sure they all worked together at the store and went ahead and set them on top of the grapevine wreath or what was left of it and um, it just made a cute little addition over here to the fireplace just exactly what um, your harvest home needs i had one more of those picks and look at how perfectly it sits in this vase over on my side table i just love how it's hanging off to one side and it just looks very natural and organic in there even though it's not real i prefer real but the colors are not that yet on the leaves <laughs> so i went with faux and then i made another small arrangement for my coffee table and decided to go ahead and add three faux pumpkins into my amber bowl and i think this is the perfect fall coffee table decor it just looks so beautiful at night and just beautiful to look at with that pumpkin topiary in the background and then you guys got to see me do the fireplace when we had our harvest party, I decided to move the centerpiece that I made over to the buffet. You can see it there in the background because, you know, people were sitting and eating and um, I just wanted it to feel a little bit more relaxed. I moved all the candles over to the um, dining table. You're going to see me do four different things here on the coffee table or on the dining room table. And I need you to comment down below which one you like best. I found this beautiful iron stone. Um, with wheat detail, soup tureen, and platter, and lid. The only thing it was missing was the ladle, um, but I found it at the thrift store. It was on sale for $4.99, and then that day, half off. Yes, you heard me right. $2.50 for this beautiful soup tureen. I wanted to highlight it, so let me know what you guys think, which arrangement you think I should keep on the table.
Okay, I wanted to show you guys what I did in the coffee bar. I didn't film it when I did it, um, but I just added one of my cream bases here. It's been like this for a few weeks now, or a couple weeks at least. And then I have some of these um, faux pumpkins. So I just added one there. And I love my coffee bar, it's so warm and cozy. I got this pear picture, another find at um, Hobby Lobby. And I just, I'm leaning it up against there. And I decided to put my coffee filters inside this crush here. And I just put a little pumpkin in there and one here. And then I have my antique mugs and my mugs I found at Hobby Lobby a year ago, or I'm sorry, Home Goods a year ago. And my lamp, my ice maker has moved over here. Really enjoying that. And then I just have this wood bowl here that I keep my scooper, ice scooper in. But I love my coffee bar. It's just so warm and cozy in here in the morning. This is with the light turned off. And I brought out my black um, coffee maker because we make a pot of coffee usually on the weekend. And this is for afternoon coffee if we want a cup or when I'm here by myself. So it works out perfect, but I just love it. It's just so warm and cozy in here. And that's exactly what I want my coffee bar to be like. So, and then really quickly, I went ahead and added these two pumpkins over here to my beautiful um, thrift, thrifted pheasant. And um, I added a wood board. So I know somebody suggested that and it just really grounds the area and looks really good. I love it. And over here, I just did another little arrangement in a copper mug and then added three real little mini pumpkins here with my lamp and that's on a wood base as well looks so good love it next to the sink i went ahead and brought my cookbook down or my cookbook holder down and put a cookbook on it open to some really pretty fall colored recipes and a real heirloom pumpkin and I have this little it actually fell off um, something and I just wrapped it around here <laughs> thought that it looked really sweet and then I added two of my candle wrought iron candle holders to kind of make a little vignette I need to put some candles in here um, and that's it for this little area and then I found this in my home decor stuff and thought this was really sweet so I just decided to sit that next to my soap and sponge here on the counter. So that looks really good. It's apples and um, I moved this, I had this back here and decided to move it over here. So I have my little trio and then I just found this antique or vintage, sorry, um, Churchill. It's the Willow from England butter dish and I love it, it looks so beautiful. And it matches what I've got going on over here. Now, if I could find that in red, I'd be really happy for Christmas, but <laughs> um, anyways, just some apples in here, which, you know, that's fall. I need to make an apple pie or these are gonna go bad. I'll probably do that for Ernie. He's coming home this Thursday, so. Anyways, that is my kitchen, oh. And then up above, I hung this really sweet fall wreath that lights up. It'll be lit up during my fall home tour, but it's just the perfect little addition to this area here. Not too overwhelming. I really wanted, um, and I probably, and next year I'll probably do the top of the cabinets, but you know, it takes time to collect that, that kind of decor. So um, I'll probably be picking stuff up this year for next year. Um, yeah, so. And then my friend, my neighbor, she brought me this really sweet dish towel and she hung it here on my dishwasher because that's where she said it needed to be. <laughs> and I love it, it's just perfect. I got her um, addicted to these. I've been finding these at um, Home Goods. 
And so every time I find them, I pick them up. I have them in this color as well. They're just really organic and beautiful. And so I've been picking them up. They are Nicole, Nicole Miller Home. But they're very organic. And I love them. I want to replace all my dish towels with these. So every time I find them, I pick them up. So I got her addicted to them. She found this one when she was out. And she said, it's kind of similar. It's not the same, but it's kind of similar. So I said, well, that's perfect. So, <laughs> And then over here on my bookcase, I didn't do much in here. I just added a couple of soft pumpkins that I had and um, kept it really simple. I still need to get pictures. I'll probably print those up today for my home tour. But I just added that one, and then I have this one down here, and just set it on top of the books. Just a nice little fall touch to the bookcase. I wish I had one more. I would have put it up here somewhere. I don't know. But yeah, that's all I did in here. So that looks good. Okay, and in my bedroom, and the reason why I'm showing you guys like this is because it just makes the video shorter. Um, I just added some fall touches to the bed. I put my um, old duvet back on because cooler nights in the 40s. <laughs> it's always nice to snuggle up. And then I just folded down my Laura Ashley comforter and it looks so good and then threw a rust color throw and some rust color pillows and it looks so good i love it so cozy these were the colors that came in my um in my bouquets that i didn't want to use so i decided to make myself a beautiful little arrangement by my bed in pinks and purples a couple white in there but it looks so pretty if you do not do this and have a fresh floral arrangement on your nightstand, I want to encourage you to do that. Just treat yourself. It's so pretty to wake up to and go to bed to at night. Over here on the dresser, I just added a fall scented candle that I do not have lit right now. <laughs> it's old. I got it. Let's see. Pro price tag's probably still on it. Um, Hobby Lobby. And this was last year. It smells so good. And then I just threw together in this vessel that I have some florals left over from my florals that I have in my fall buckets. And just added, you know, a little bit here and there of little things. And it just looks really whimsical and pretty here. I love it. And then over here, I just added morning pumpkin and a throw over to lighten this up and switch the page of my book over to something more moody and then took down those pictures and added my round mirror that was hanging where Ernie built the bookshelves and it looks so good. Um, I did take down the large picture that was here because I could not, I didn't like it. <laughs> um, I love the size of it and that's not the decor I was going for. So we're going to find another spot for it. So nothing here. But that is it for my fall bedroom. Now let's go take a look at the loft. Here on the table at the top of the stairs, I just added or switched out, sorry, some more faux foliage here and a candle. And that's it for this little area. We don't spend a ton of time up here, so I didn't want to add any... Um, real florals. So I just found this one here and I had two more rest pillows and that one there. And those are from um, years ago, but leftovers. <laughs> I switched out the pillows on the chairs to a warmer color. They look really good. And I just added a sprig up here to bring that orange tone over to this side. And then over on this one, I added that little basket with some dry florals. All of the <laughs> fall on my um, patio up here is coming through, so it adds a nice warm, a nice warm glow to this room. But that's all I did up here, which is why I didn't film it, because I didn't add much, just a little bit. Um, 
just to bring the colors up here because, you know, when the kids do come over, um, I wanted the fall to shine through the house so okay guys that's gonna do it for my fall decor here on the inside of the home i hope you guys enjoyed this i do have one more space that i want to decorate and that is my back porch but it's not going to be fall per se it's going to be more winter like fall winter decor um i don't want to spend money on um on plants this late in the season like I did in the front I'm enjoying those immensely and um, these are pots so I want to put something in them that I can enjoy for the rest of fall and all of winter and then in the spring move it out into my landscape or at least some of it so that's my hope so Hopefully that'll be the next video that you guys will see because I'd like that to be finished before I t um, film my hot fall home tour. And, um, and I wanna do that fall home tour in the evening right before the sun goes down. Um, what do they call that, the magic hour? Because I think that that's when your fall decor really comes to life and really shines. And um, I think mine does as well because I have so many candles throughout the home and I want to light them all. And I want you guys to get a good feel for it. So if you have not subscribed to my channel, I hope that you plan on doing that before you leave today. And I would really appreciate if you guys would click the like button and leave me a comment down below. If you're shy, that's fine. Just a smiley face or a thumbs up would be great. But comments help out the video a lot. It lets YouTube know that people are enjoying the video and they will push it out to people that enjoy this type of content. So you be helping us both out. All right, guys. Well, we will see you in the next video. I appreciate you so much. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.